What is communication? Have you ever communicated with someone? I am sure you have because we cannot live each day without communication. Good morning, Philippines! Maayong buntag, Mindanao, ug mabulahanong adlaw, Rian Diaz. I am your grade 11 teacher in Media Information and Literacy, Miss Alia A. Acobo, from Loop National High School, Division of Misamis Oriental, Salai District. Today, we are going to talk about communication and its importance in our life as a human being. At the end of this video, you will be able to 1. Differentiate verbal from non-verbal communication 2. Understand how the components of communication connect and influence each other and 3. Identify the components of communication by labeling the flow diagram of a communication process. Humans are social beings. As the popular saying goes, no man is an island. We talk, we listen, we convey messages through facial expressions. Every day, we use communication to express our thoughts and opinions to respond to other people and to transact formal and commercial dealings. The root of communication in Latin is communicare, which means to share or to make common. Communication is defined as the process of understanding and sharing meaning. It is always a two-way process done in a verbal or non-verbal manner. Verbal is the use of sound in words like talking, texting, calling, writing, or video conferencing. Do you think the man likes the woman? Why do you think so? Yes, he is looking at her with love and he is taking extra care of her. Is there communication by looking at his actions? And facial expressions? Yes, it is communication in a nonverbal way, wherein action or body language is the means of sending message to the other person. So, how is nonverbal communication conveyed to the other person? Correct, it is done through actions, facial expressions, or body language. The action and facial expressions are examples of nonverbal communication, which give you the idea that he is jealous. Again, it is an example of what? A nonverbal communication. In a day, we communicate countless times. Sometimes we misunderstand each other and this causes conflict. In order for us to understand the elements of communication, let us first dig deeper to the subject. This time, let us know the different components of communication. Let us watch this video and learn how each component is interconnected with one another. Today we're going to talk about the communication cycle, specifically the eight different components that make it up. Sure, you may not have heard of the communication cycle before, but some of these components are going to seem pretty familiar. To begin, we always start with the sender, who has some kind of idea that he is trying to get to a receiver. So that begs the question, how does an idea get from the sender to the receiver? Well, that idea represents the third component in the communication cycle, and that is the message, the idea being communicated. And for our sender here, well, he has a very specific idea in mind. He is in love, and he can't wait to communicate it. So now we arrive at our fourth component, which is the encoding phase. To encode is simply to package the message. And you really only have three different options. They are either verbal, nonverbal, or both. Our sender has decided 
that a love letter would be the best way to encode his message. This brings us to our fifth component, and that is the channel, which is simply defined as how the receiver takes in the message. Human beings have five channels. Think, what else do you have five of? If you guessed your five senses, you'd be right. Hearing, seeing, and feeling are the primary ways in which human beings take in information. And in this case, if it's a love letter, she will be using sight. Having taken in this message, she now needs to make sense of it. And another word for that is our next component, and that is to decode it. So if encoding is packaging your message, decoding is making sense of it. So, she's unpackaged the message. Now all we do is wait for her response. What do you think? Will she be into him? Okay, it looks like she is. And that response that she's giving right there, that's our next component. And that is the feedback loop. Any response the receiver gives to the sender. So there you have it. One effective cycle of communication. But wait, we're forgetting our final element, and that is noise, which is simply defined as anything complicating a message being sent or received. So if our sender has bad handwriting, our receiver can no longer decode his message. This of course alters her response, and therein changes the feedback. So in the end, it seems miscommunication is just as much a part of this cycle. Thanks for watching. While we are having a musical break to process the information we have learned today and to rest our eyes from the radiation strain caused by our gadgets, close your eyes and memorize the eight components of communication in your head. Now we are going to go through the process again for mastery. The man is in love with the woman. He should communicate with her. The man needs to send a message to the woman. In order for his message to get across, he needs to encode it. It could be verbal or non-verbal. Sometimes actions and facial expressions are not enough to express love. So the man uses writing as a verbal way of expressing his feelings. Now remember that the channel component is referring to the five senses of the body. You're going to make use of your eyesight. So the channel for that is the sight sense. Finally, the receiver gets the message. Now, how does she decode the message? That's it! She has to read and know its content. After reading the content, the receiver or the woman needs to assess what's her response to the message. Whatever her response is, is called feedback. But wait! What if the penmanship of the man is really really bad and the woman could not understand his message oh that is what we call as the interference or the noise which could be the cause of a misunderstanding or miscommunication have you learned something new about communication today hmm let us try to see if you can answer the following questions I want you to get one part sheet of paper and do not forget to write our subject, your name, section, and lesson title. 
for question number one. You are only given 15 seconds to write your answer on your paper. For item number two and three, you are given one minute to answer each of the questions. Answer directly. Remember, honesty is the best policy. Even if no one is watching you, God sees you. Let's start now. Question number one. What is the root of the word communication in Latin, which means to share or to make common? Question number two. Answer this question in one or two sentences only. How is verbal communication different from the nonverbal communication? Number three, identify the components of communication by labeling the symbols of this communication process. Stop writing! So easy, right? Do you think you were able to answer the questions correctly? I bet you did! Now, how are you going to pass your paper? If you have internet, I want you to take a picture of your paper and send it to my FB Messenger account flushed on the screen. To those who cannot access the internet, Put the paper on your MIL envelope together with your answered modules and wait to deliver it on the designated time and place for module retrieval. Next time, we will discuss the communication process of communication through models. Did you have fun learning with me? I truly hope you did. This is your media information and literacy teacher, Ms. Alia Akobo saying, knowledge is power. Thank you for watching. Until next time.